Hey YouTube, Adopted Mike here, and this is the BioStar H77MU3 motherboard. It's a micro ATX motherboard based on the H77 chipset from Intel. We've got Windows 8 ready, supports the uh, core processors i3, i5, and i7, and Ivy Bridge and Sandy Bridge as well, too. So, this is the socket 1155. We've got PCI Gen 3. 3D out of the HDMI built into the board, five phase power, SATA 3, so six gigabit a second, USB 3.0, and the aforementioned HDMI. So this would be uh, uh, able to do 3D HDMI. So now we'll take a look at the side and the top and the other side. The back here, DirectX 11, gigabit LAN. The SATA uh, USB 3 and SATA 3, bio screen, HDMI, HD audio, 6 channel HD audio, interesting. Solid capacitors, dual DDR3, EUP, PCI Express 3.0 again, and bio remote 2. Okay, so let's get inside. Take a look. For starters, we have the rear I.O. shield. We've got two SATA 6 gigabit a second connectors. We have a manual, a driver disc. Just double check online, make sure you've got the newest drivers. A piece of cardboard. And now, take. Okay, so let's get a look at the board itself. So starting out here, take a look at the bottom. We've got a COM port, a printer port. We've got the CIR1 port, uh, SysFan1, front panel USB 3.0. We've got front panel USB 2.0. There's two of those. There's our front panel connections. Here is our SATA 3 gigabit a second. There's four of those, and then two of the 6 gigabit a second. So that's pretty cool there. Uh, we've got two of those. And then we come down here, there's a CMOS jumper there to reset the CMOS. We have our 24 pin power. And then moving along there, let's see, we've got, uh, let's see, a CPU fan header there that is a 4 pin. Then we have a 4 pin CPU power. There's the socket 1155. And there's our front panel audio. And I'm kind of uh, surprised we don't see another fan header. So it looks like we have the one down there, three pin, and the CPU there, that's the four pin. So yeah, okay, so two of those. Now we'll move on here. We have DDR3. This is one of the uh, kind of rare uh, micro ATX motherboards with four DIMM slots. So each of these would take 8 gigs, or up to 8 gigs, so you could get up to 32 gigs here in, in uh, system memory. Now we'll move down to the expansion slots. There's a PCI Express 3.0 by 16 here, and then this is a PCI Express um, 2.0, but this one is only um, 4. So this is a by 4 so you get a by 16 3.0 and a by 4 2.0. So keep that in mind if you're going to be using dual graphics cards, which actually I don't see if it supports dual graphics cards. There's usually a little uh, logo on the board. Let me, uh, I guess we have smart response technology too as well for an SSD. Let me take a look at the manual here and check out uh, our graphics options. So looking through the manual, I don't see where we have any support for Crossfire or SLI, which anyway, the, usually the motherboard would include an SLI bridge if it was SLI capable. So I don't think this is Crossfire either. And there's no logos on the board saying that it's supported as well. But with a by 4 slot, I mean you're kind of getting some bandwidth limitation there anyway. So, take a look at the I.O. on the rear. We've got a keyboard, USB 2.0 times 2. For the integrated graphics, we've got a VGA, HDMI, and DVI. 
and that will just depend on what the processor uh, supports with integrated graphics. We've got two USB 3.0. There's our gigabit Ethernet and HD audio. Okay, so that is the quick look and unboxing of the BioStar H77M U3 motherboard. Again, this is an Intel Socket 1155. And as always, thank you for watching.